had to be used before. I'm going to try it. Fuck it. Why not? Right here on the Smoke the World show. I, the alternative is going to another record right now, and I'm not feeling that. I'm not trying to do that. I'm trying to get this one and maybe do another one right here on the Smoke the World show. I started late today, but... Never know if I get it. If I if I get in that mood, I said I was feeling good. I might that might translate to me going really fast, which I would really appreciate. Um, because it's not been that way lately. It's been very slow and methodical to get to a point that's presentable to the good people of YouTube. And if the camera wasn't on, I'd probably just fucking like just save it and move on to the next thing. You know what I'm saying? I'm gonna like, try this beat right here. I think it's fine. I. Somebody did use that, I think, but they're not going to use it the way I did. So I'm going to try and flip the sample right here on the Smoke the World show. I'll get right back with you right after this. Welcome back. I got the beat, the beat ready. I'm excited about where I'm at with it. It's good. I, I thought it might have been sampled somewhere before because it sounded pretty familiar. But um, right here on the Smoke the World show, we made it sound like something that's never been heard of. Because um, we don't like doing what other people do here on the Smoke the World Show. We like doing what we like to do here on the Smoke show, the World Show. The world, the world, the like world. To, you know, bring uniqueness to the game, you know? Something unique. If we see you going that way, we're going to go the other way. The world, the world, the world. You have to do it. That's one way to be unique. It's, it gets tricky because sometimes people are right. And uh, you don't want to just keep going against the grain just for nothing. You know what I'm saying? You don't want to go against that. I've done that plenty in my life, is go against the grain where it actually hurts. <laughs> Sometimes it's best to listen to people, especially if you trust them. It's just hard to find hard, hard to find people to trust. Check out this beat that I just crafted right here on the Smoke the World show. I am happy with it. I will tell you if I'm not, but I am very happy with this one. So let's just see what I did. I got two parts to it. I even got a third that I might want to throw in there, but I just don't know where it would fit in so i'll play the first part none of them are in order or anything like that i think there's one part that's definitely the hook you'll hear but i'm not going to play that first so i'm going to play this beat right here on the smoke the world show check it out the world the world Right here on the Smoke the World show. The world, the world. I'm gonna show you. I didn't record it yet. I didn't like lay it down or anything. But I'm gonna show you the part that I'm not gonna keep. I'm just gonna play it because I, it's pretty easy, and it's kind of the same as one of those parts. But I'll show you right here, right now on the Smoke the World show. It might sound a little weird because it's not laid down yet and it all tightened up. But I'm just gonna play it for what I know. Right here on the Smoke the World. Show. The world, the world.
what happens when you try to get fancy and show off for the camera, the good people of YouTube. Not everybody can do it. I'm one of those people who can't really do it. So I just like getting right to the point, right to the finished product. And I don't dance that much on my fucking beats and all that stuff. When you see me dancing, I'm probably mocking somebody that's out there doing some dribbly stuff on the beats. That really doesn't make any sense. Just make the fucking beat and make it as good as possible. You know what I'm saying? People be feeling it. I be feeling it too. Right here on the Smoke the World Show. I feel what I'm doing. You know what I'm saying? But I don't need to fucking dance on the fucking keyboard. I just, I just really just like to... Like, I'm like John Stockton. I don't got no fucking moves. Like Kevin McHale. I got one really good move that you can't stop. And I'm slow and I'm white and I can't really move that good. But I fucking get the job done and you can't stop me. And it's consistent. I'm going to be in the Hall of Fame one day. You know what I'm saying? I'm going to get some rings. I'm going to get some chips. You know what I'm saying? The world, the world, the world, the world. I'll take being like Kurt fucking Rambis. I just want to be in the fucking league. I don't give a fuck about all the other shit. The world, the world, the world. Put me in, put me in coach. That's what I want. But really, I'm the coach, and I make things happen, and that's what we're doing here in the Smoke the World show. So you see that I'm kind of unfuck with in my old right and in my old mind and in my old world because we lose our mind right here on the Smoke the World show. We don't give a fuck what people think anymore. We're done with that shit, with that part of our life. The world, the world, the world. We're done with the part of our life where we're trying to make everybody happy. We, don't, we can't even make ourselves happy. How the fuck are we going to make anyone else happy? We try to make ourselves happy. We try to make the two, three people in our life happy. That shit don't be working all the time either. People got to find their own fucking happiness. You know what I'm saying? People got to fucking make themselves happy. And then maybe we can combine happiness and... and Make, uh, make the world a happier place. It's not really happy times right now to smoke the world show. The world is ending right before our eyes, and it's no really need to be happy or fun or... No, it's not. It's not that way. It shouldn't be that way. It should be the way we want it to be. It should be normal. People should fucking be, have common sense. They should have things. We should have things. Basic needs should be met all across the world. There's no reason anyone should starve. We're human beings. We know what that would feel like if it was us. I don't see what the problem is. Like, there's enough to go around. Jeff Bezos could feed the whole world. I'm not saying he has to. It's his money. He earned it. Did he earn it? Did he work harder than anyone? Did he work harder than a fucking CNA right now? He's going to fucking take care of some fucking fat 300-pound dude who fucking can't, don't know his name and is swinging at it. Is he working harder than her? I don't think so. I don't think he's working harder than that person. The world, the world, the world. I don't think he's working harder than someone who's building a fucking whatever sidewalk. I don't think he's working harder than that person. I don't know. He could be smarter than that person, maybe. Taking advantage of the way things are, maybe. The world, the world, the world. Thing, maybe that's the thing that needs to change a little bit, not even a lot. I mean, we change a lot. I like capitalism. Basic needs met, go capitalize away. You know what I'm saying? As long as everyone's always good when shit gets bad, that's fine. Go capitalize. Go do that. It's not that... I'm trying to take everything. Just fucking let's... Ten billionaires. Ten, ten rich motherfuckers in the world make everything right. Real quick. Just like just like that. Just do it. You can. They've proven it. They're pre just printing money left and right. Just fucking do it. Give black people reparations while you're at it. Fix it. The world, the world, the world, the world. It's not that hard for you. It's not that hard. You can do it. You can be, be the hero of the world, too. Everyone will fucking love you. You can go down history as a good person. And, and these people fucking save the world. These ten fucking billionaires. These fucking... And we can all strive to be like you one day. You know what I'm saying? We're all striving to be like you anyway. And you're a piece of shit. Come on, Mark Cuban. Where you at? You seem like a nice guy. You seem like a friendly face. You know what I'm saying? Put up a fucking billion. I would. I swear to God I would. I would put up a billion. I earn... I will never earn a billion dollars. But if I do, I'm giving that shit up. I don't need that. I need literally like fucking ten thousand dollars is all I need to live on. I don't need anything. I haven't bought clothes since fucking 2009. Like, it's... I wear what people give me for Christmas or my birthday. The world, the world, the world. You bought shirts, shorts, hoodies. That's all I want. I like to eat. I'd spend money on food. I'd go out for a long time. I'd go out to eat for a long time. That's what I would do if I had money. I'd go out to eat and I'd take everybody out to eat and not ask them for anything. I'd take fucking ten people out to eat at a time if I had that type of money. Ever, no one ever pays for anything. That's what I would do with it. Buy my fucking dream car is a fucking Toyota Sequoia. That's my dream car. The world, the world, the world. The music would be right, but it's a Toyota Sequoia. You can't really get better than that. It can fucking serve every purpose. It's decent on gas. It's a fucking Toyota. Should have lasted me for fucking 12, 20 years. You don't want any of that other stuff. That other stuff is unnecessary to me. That's, that's the fuck. I just. 
do I do with a million dollars? And I would invest in people all across the world. I would go around and see who's got a good heart. And your actions would tell me. And the way you interact with people would tell me if you have a good heart. And the way people treat you would tell me if you have a good heart. That's like my dream, to empower people all across the world. Empower decent people. Empower good-hearted people. People who want to make the world just normal in the way it should be. Not normal, not back to any normal we've ever experienced. Like normal, like, hi, how you doing? Nice to meet you. You hurt? Okay, I'll take care of you. You need some money? Okay, here you go. I got it. If I got it, you got it. Like, that's normal to me. Like, that's, that's like common sense. If you're sick, you get health. You know what I'm saying? We tell people the right things instead of the wrong things. We tell people how to be healthy instead of trying to trick people into being unhealthy and eating that fucking shit food. Fast foods are now healthy. We just do the right things. We, the, the air is polluted. We clean the air. It's very simple. Like, somebody's making a lot of money off keeping everybody all fucked up, but we're not here to talk about that shit. We're here to get to the beat. The world, the world, the world. Some music, and I don't know how long I've been talking for. I know I just smoked another fucking joint. But right now, right here, we're going to get back to this beat and just finish it out, and then I'm going to do my outro right here on the Smoke the World Show. Check it out. I will catch you next time right here on the Smoke the World Show. The world, the world, the world.